what shall we say to our father, Apostle Johnson Suleiman? Happy Father's Day, Papa! Amen! God bless everyone for coming. Hallelujah. Today we are going to look at a very interesting topic for Father's Day. We're going to, instead of um, just talking any, or talking into certain areas of fathers, the do's and don'ts of fathers, we're going to deal with the power that fights fathers. Hallelujah. That's what we're going to talk about today. Amen. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Come and do what only you can do and receive the glory. We invite you into this arena. I decrease myself, increase yourself in me. Speak through me your own adulterated words. Use me as an oracle to bless your people. Today we ask, O oh Lord, that let whatever we bind on earth be bound in heaven. And let whatever we lose on earth be loosed in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Today on earth is Father's Day. Therefore we ask that every prayer that we pray regarding fathers, O oh God of heaven, honor our prayers. In the name of Jesus, let there be a performance. And at the end, we shall give you the praise and honor that it is you that has done it. My Father, my God, I ask that no one will leave you the same way they came in the name of Jesus. Even those online in the mighty name of Jesus, let chains, family chains break. Let family yokes break. Let curses break. Let your will be released upon every man that hears this message in the name of Jesus. Let your favor, your blessings uh, be released upon every man that hears this sermon in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah Adonai, come and do what only you can do. Receive the glory. Archangel Michael, we invite you right now to stand at the four corners and wrestle every agenda of hell against today's service in the name of Jesus. We ask that you fly into the air, into the media, the highways, the byways, the lowways, the hallways, the railways. We dip all of them in the blood of Jesus. That every attempt of any demonic powers uh, to deter your word. Uh, my Father, my God, let them go down. 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 In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we are not here because of any man. We are here because of you. Therefore, let there be a performance. Uh, manifest yourself strongly and let the glory be given unto you. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, sprinkling blood of Jesus, we sprinkle it all over this place. Let your presence be felt and do what only you can do. Receive the glory. Thank you, Lord. We give all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Please bring your Bibles with me to the book of Genesis chapter 12. We're going to read from verse 1 to 2. Genesis chapter 12, we're going to read from verses 1 to 2. What did I say the topic was? Power that fights fathers. Hallelujah. The Lord has said to Abram, go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. 
I will make you into a great nation. And I will bless you. I will make your name great. And you will be a blessing. Say, Lord, make me into a great nation. Say, Lord, bless me. Make my name great. And make me a blessing to my generation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The power that fights fathers. Beloved, there is no seed or human being or beast animal without mating with a female and a male. Hallelujah. The only person that was born without mating was Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He was born by the Virgin Mary, impregnated by the Holy Spirit. But every other person had a biological father, whether via artificial insemination or natural. Am I talking to somebody? And so fathers are very significant in bringing out life. Hallelujah. Fathers are significant in making a human being or an animal. Sometimes people that have animals will have to go and look, female animals will have to go and look for male animals to come and mate together. Hallelujah. So today is a special day for Father's Day. If only fathers know how important they are, most of them will take their roles very seriously. I pray for every father after now that what God has called you, the assignment God has given to you, after now you will walk in your role. You will walk in your role. You will walk in your role. In the name of Jesus, you will be a father, a proud father, not a daddy. Hallelujah. You will not be a dad after now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The place where we read in Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 2, God called Abraham out of his father's house, praise the Lord, and said, go from your country, go from your people, and go away from your father's house into the land that I will show you. Ladies and gentlemen, my first question in this sermon, why does God have to ask Abraham to leave his father's house before blessing him? He says, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. A man in his father's house God is calling him out of his father's house to go into a place that he will show him called Canaan so that God can bless him. Why? Because Abraham's father, Terah, was an idolater. He worshipped idols. Not only did he worship idols, he made them and sold them too. He had a shop. Hallelujah. It's one thing to worship idols. It's one thing to actually be selling idols. So he was an evangelist of Satan. Abraham's father. Selling idols. So now it gets better. Not only was he an evangelist of Satan selling idols, he also involved Abraham. Whenever he wanted to check out and go outside to do stuff, he put Abraham in charge of his store to sell those idols. Hallelujah. So one day, Bible says that he gave Abraham the shop. He said, check this out. I'm going out. I'll, be, I'll come back. You know what Abraham did? Abraham took an axe. And broke all his father's idols. And left one. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, receive this grace. 
any idol in your father's house, by your prayer, by your anointing, those idols are going down. I said they are going down. I said they are going down. You can do it. You can do it. They are going down in the name of Jesus. Abraham broke all the idols in the store and left one idol. And he put an axe in that one idol's hand. Guess what? His father, Terah, came back and Terah said, Hey, what happened here? Abraham said, they were fighting against each other. The idols were fighting against each other. It gets better. Please, I need your attention. It gets better. Hallelujah. And then Terah asked Abraham, what happened? A certain lady came here to give them money. And then they were all rushing together to, to fight to what? To, to, take, to, to take the money. Terra, Terra, who was worshiping idol, hallelujah, selling idol, he looked at Abraham and said, you are a liar, Abraham. Wait a minute. These idols have no breath. These idols cannot think. These idols cannot walk. These idols cannot see. Abraham, ha, Abraham, he was Abraham then. How did they fight themselves? Abraham said, good for you. You know that they can't think. You know that they can't talk. You know that they can't see. They can't, why are you worshiping them then? Why are you selling them to people then? Hallelujah. Say, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to worship idols. I refuse to worship idols. I refuse to worship idols. I refuse it. I refuse it. I refuse to worship idols. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to worship idols. In the name of Jesus. So that was the kind of home Abraham came from. A babangida idol worshiping home. So God, in his own infinite wisdom, called him. Hallelujah. Out of his father's house so that he can what? Make him into a great nation. He can bless him, change his name, and for him to be a blessing. So let's, whilst we are on Abraham, you realize the Holy Spirit told me, I was asking the Holy Spirit, that why is it that God had to let him leave his father's house? The Holy Spirit said, most of the problems, foundational problems, are from father's house. I said, how? The Holy Spirit said, father, men, carry names, the genealogy forever. When a man leaves his father's house and his name is Smith, when he gets married, his name remains Smith. When he gives back to boys, the boy's name remains Smith. Great, great, great grand generation, their names don't what change. But women dilute names. By the time a woman gets married, her father's name is diluted. So foundational powers, those strong powers, those strong problems, uh, those problems that don't go away. When you have one, what you have to do is tackle your father's house idols. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. So today I came to expose this revelation to you. Most of your stubborn problems are from father's house. Am I talking to somebody? So because of this, God in his own infinite wisdom could have just said, Abraham, stay in your father's house. I am omnipotent, omni signs, omni present God, the most powerful, the Alpha, the Omega, Almighty God. I can change your foundation and bless you, make you a, into a great nation, bless you, change your name. He did not do that. He didn't do that. Why? Because of that scripture the Holy Spirit gave me that honor thy father and thy mother, and thy days shall be long. Because of that scripture, Abraham cannot tell his father to worship his own God. But when God touches his father, then that's fine. Am I talking to somebody? 
So God called him out of his father's house. Today in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name. Any father's house problem that has followed you till now, by the power of the Holy, that power breaks right now. I said that power breaks right now. I said that power breaks right now. I said that power breaks right now in the name of Jesus. Please open your palm in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, tapping into today's season, as Father's Day, as Father's Day, call me out, call me out, call me out, call me out, out of my father's call house. Me out, call me call out, me out call house. me out. Ask call God to call you out. Father, call me father, out of my father's house. Father's I come out of call my father's house. Go, in the name of go, Jesus, just go. as you call called go Abraham from out from of his Idris, father's house, out from my father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm coming out of my father's house. You have my permission today. I step out of my father's house. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. God never goes back in his promises. When Abraham came out of his father's house, Abraham really received these blessings. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, in Genesis chapter 17, that was where the blessings came to pass. Open Genesis chapter 17. Let me show somebody uh, um, there. 17 verse 1 to 8. Genesis 17 verse 1 to 8. It says, when Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him. And said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Then I will make my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. Abraham fell face down and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abraham. Your name will be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you very fruitful. I will make nations of you, and kings will come from you. I will establish your covenant. Say, Lord, establish your covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come. To be your God and the God of your descendants after you. The whole land of Canaan, where you now reside as a foreigner, I will give you as an everlasting possession to you and your descendants after you. And I will be their God. Amen. This is where the blessings, hallelujah, what God spoke to him before, it manifested in Genesis chapter 17. Hallelujah. Yeah. Our take home, where was the problem? The problem was in his father's house. Even though he was blessed, even though he was a man of many nations, a man that God wanted him to become a father of nations. Hallelujah. He, did, he was not living that life. He was not living that life. Not only that, they made a mistake. His name was manipulated by his father's idols. Instead of Abraham, they called him Abram. I don't know what name you are bearing after now. Open your palm. Open your palm in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I dip your names in the blood of Jesus. If by any reason your name has been turned upside down. Or a name of any kind of God. Little God in your family has been given to you. Today we overturn it. 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 We overturn it, we overturn it in the name of Jesus. 
We dip your names in the blood of Jesus. That God will have his way in your life. Sometimes there are people, they will do and do and do. It's because of their names. Hallelujah. I had a friend. She, she met her husband here. She didn't know him. She heard her husband saying, Owusua, Owusua, Owusua. She thought it was her husband's favorite name. She named the child Owusua. The child always sick, always sick, always sick. So fortunately for her, her husband's family traveled here. And he said, what's wrong with this child? She said, I don't know. Since she was born, always sick. The first few weeks was, but always sick. The, 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 the family member said, that Owusua, do you know the meaning of that? That is the God in uh, our, our family, our family's house. That's the name of that God. So if you name your child that God, you should be appeasing or sacrificing to the God. And the girl has never sent a penny to know God because she didn't even know that it was a God's name, a little God name. I decree and declare over your life this day that any spiritual name, physical name, secret name that you are bearing, that is not of God. Today, we, we nullify that name with the blood of Jesus. I say you will not answer that name again. You will not answer it. Whether they call you in the dream, whether they call you during the day, you will not answer that name. You will not answer that name. I say you will not answer that name. The Lord is changing your name after now. There's someone here. Your two children have been, have been initiated to their father's house, God. Your two children have been initiated to their father's house, God, in the name of Jesus. Bible says he reveals to redeem. By the power of the Holy, I connect to the grace upon my father. And we retreat, we take them out of that God's name. We take them out, we take them out, we take them out. We take them out from that little God that they have been initiated to. Your children have been initiated to that little God of your husband's house, your children. Hallelujah. That's one of the reasons why you are, pray, you are struggling. is because you have God in your house. Kabasha, receive the grace for, that, for deliverance. The Lord is delivering you right now. I said, the Lord is delivering you right now. I said, the Lord is wickedness, 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 wickedness. The Lord is delivering you right now. I always tell you, ignorance is worse than wickedness. Ignorance is worse than wickedness. And as women, you don't even know. You just go and marry. In that house, everything, even animals get dedicated even animals in that house, you cannot be part of that house and not be initiated. I connect to the grace upon my father, Amen. Apostle Johnson Suleiman, and I ask God to deliver you, to deliver your family Amen. from that initiation. Amen. That initiation by the blood of Jesus is broken. I say that initiation in the name of Jesus is broken. That initiation by the word of God, which is the double-edged sword of God, is broken. That initiation is broken by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Take your children by fire, by force, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, what God spoke to Abraham about, it came to pass. Hallelujah. So some of the problems are what? Father house problem. And the antidote for father house problem is to know God and know him very well. My question to the Holy Spirit, how did God get Abraham's attention to now go to him and say, come out of your father's house? You see, his heart, even though he was a boy with his father, he did not like his father's idols. He crushed them. Hallelujah. In no matter, our parents, they are just, uh, uh, what, keepers. In no matter what your fathers were worshiping, in no matter what's going on in your house, what matters is your own salvation. 
Bible says we should work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. It no matter what the pastor of a church is worshiping. What matters is you, your relationship with God. Abraham is a very good example. Your pastor is not your family member. So if he's worshiping idols, is the least. But your father worshiping idols is very high. But if God, despite his father worshiping idols, took him out of his father's house and made him into what? A great nation. What he has predestined him to do. Why can't God do it for you? The question is, are you walking in righteousness with God? Righteousness is not a day's journey. Hallelujah. Don't feel bad. It's daily. Bible says we should, what do you call it? We should not be conformed to the things of this world, but we should be transformed by the renewing. That word, it says, it didn't say be transformed by renewed mind. It's a renewing. I-N-G. It's daily. You don't have to be perfect. You can come just as you are. You can come as a drunkard. You can come as a manipulator, a liar, anything. But as long as you keep renewing your mind, that's all. Abraham took the job as a storekeeper for his father. But by the end of his assignment in, but with his father's idol, his heart rejected that nonsense. Your heart will reject evil. I say your heart will reject evil. I say your heart will reject evil. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Favor is on your side. Somebody shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire, yeah, yeah. Shout fire, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, some of the problems for fathers is from what? Their father's house. So, any problem that you have consistently, persistently, that you know you have emptied yourself, you have stopped everything, you know that wasn't right and it's still happening, go. Take your prayers, everything into where? Your father's house and come out of there. You can use by the blood of Jesus, I divorce everything in my father's house. Divorce it because it's not working. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, anything in your father's house is divorced right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Judges chapter 6, verse 14 to 16. God called Gideon, hallelujah, he called Gideon to go and what? Deliver the Israelites from the Midianites. Gideon at that time was situated in his father's house. The, I, and his father had satanic altars. His father was an idolater. His father was evil worshiper. Hallelujah. Because of that, this evil worshiping, beloved, anything not of God is not to make you but to break you. The truth is they will not tell you the truth. Hallelujah. Because if they tell you, misery likes companion. Misery likes companion. If they tell you the truth, that money you've been sending from here to service the altar, you won't send it again. They themselves that they are worshiping that altar, they don't like it. When God himself, in his own infinite wisdom, had a, a dialogue with Gideon, Gideon said, eh, 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 I don't even trust what you are saying. I said, the Lord turned to him and said, go in the strength you have, you have and save Israel out of Midian hand. And I am not, am I not sending you? This is God. Hallelujah. 15, pardon me. This is Gideon. Pardon me, my Lord. Gideon replied. But how can I save Israel? My clan is the weakest in Manasseh. And I am the least in my family. You see what father's house powers do? 
Uh, Bible says he created you in his own image. Father's house is telling him he's nothing, he's weak, he's nobody. That is the spirit from Father's house. When everybody knows that you are strong, you yourself, you are like, oh my God, you have no idea how I feel. Hallelujah. And not only that, this is God talking to Gideon. Me, if it's God, automatically, even if I was thinking that my father's house is dead, I say, amen. Because like Abraham. When God told him to go and sat, uh, sacrifice Isaac, it wasn't the best idea, but he, know, he knew that God can give him another Isaac right away. You know, so he did not contend. But this place, Gideon is contending. That is what Father's house spirit does. Even when God has sent a helper to you, Father's house spirit will negotiate by logic negotiate and contend their own deliverance because it's what? Foundation. And let me shock you. Foundation is not foundation in your household, in your father's village. Where is the village? Where is your village? Uronigbe. It's not foundation in Uronigbe. That foundation is in your blood. In theology, it's called bloodline or foundation. In science, it's called DNA. So that father's house power spirit is in your blood. So this is why when the person travels to the end of the world, that thing shows up there. If you like Akamu, you've been looking for Akamu to drink. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's in the what? It's in the blood. So Gideon, despite God himself talking to him, he was talking back. Most people will say, yes, sir. Papa. Yes, sir. Father. Most of them, they say, Lord, if I've had favor before you, then I can go. Isn't it most of what they say? This one. Because of the altars in his father's house. Even if the pastor is saying, go this. As soon as they leave here, say, hey, let me tell you guys, in this world, we don't have one way of doing things. So that's father's house. That's powers fighting that person. Hallelujah. And so that was Gideon. He, did, he negotiated with God, did everything with God. Let's read 25. Judges 6, 25. And then God said, ah, Gideon, it's me sending you. What's wrong with you? That same night, the Lord said to him, so now Gideon, after not trusting himself, in 25, God said to Gideon, you remember he told him he's sending him already. Am I not sending you? Gideon was negotiating here. God said, take the second bull from your father's house, from your father's head, the one seven years old, tear down your father's altar to Baal and cut down the Asherah pole beside it and sacrifice the seven-year-old bull upon your father's what? Altar. Hallelujah. Gideon did this. Praise the Lord. Let me show you what happened. Then... Build a proper kind of altar to the Lord your God on top of this height. Using the wood of the Asher pole that you cut down. Offer the second bull as a burnt offering. Next. So Gideon took ten of his servants and did as the Lord told him. But because he was afraid of his family and the townspeople, he did it at night rather than in the daytime. This is not what I'm looking for. Next. In the morning, the people reacted. Of course, you mess up their altars, they will react. Next. Next. The people demanded that uh, Joash, which is Gideon's father, to bring out who did it. Next. 31. I think it's 30, 31. Um, 30. Hallelujah. 38. Go to 38. 36 to 40. 
Gideon said to God, look, look, look how beautiful this is. After Gideon teared down his father's altar, now they are having a father and a son talk. Gideon said to God, if you will save Israel by my hand, as you have promised. Didn't you say you are not doing it before? Hallelujah. Look, I will place a wool fleece on the threshing floor. If there is a dew on the fleece and all the ground is dry, then I will know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you said. Why didn't you ask him this before? Because that altar was fighting him and getting in the way and manipulating his deliverance. Open your palm. In the name of Jesus, any altar in your father's house manipulating your deliverance, today that altar crashed by fire. I say it's crashed by thunder. I say it's crashed by thunder. By divine hammer, we crash those altars into pieces in the name of Jesus. Gideon could have said, okay, Lord, I hear you. Um, show me one or two signs and I'll go. From what? Resisting, resisting. A lot of people, fathers, men, they have resisted divine order till now. And their deliverance has been stale. It will not be your portion. Amen. I say, why? Because it's not them. It's the altars in their father's house. And most people have not touched or prayed against their father's house altar in a day. Some of them don't even believe that the way we pray against altar is there. So the altar continuously is two things. If it's good things from that altar, the person receives it. If it's bad things from that altar, the person receives it. So there are people, men, that they are still negotiating. They are doing some, God says, stop this thing and go and do my work. They are still doing that miniature, miniature job because of that altar fighting them. I don't know which altar is fighting you, but in the name of Jesus, as we have exposed Father's house altars, the power of those altars today come to an end. I said the power of those altars today come to an end. I said the power of every altar in your father's house come to an end Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Watch father's house. People that altars fight them, they argue. They argue a lot. Praise the Lord. They, they turn the truth upside down. They don't even believe God. Tell them that let's go to church. This, they don't believe. Same thing Gideon did. It, in this case, it's not a church member inviting Gideon. It was God himself inviting Gideon. He was struggling with it. There are many men walking about with curses, with problems, patterns, foundational patterns, foundational curses, foundational yokes, strong men, altars, fighting them. But unless they yield to the Holy Spirit completely, or they find another person who has dealt with that to touch them and break those yokes, that person ain't going nowhere. Because first hand with God, somebody was what? Arguing. In the name of Jesus, anyone watching us online, receive your deliverance. I say receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance after now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Luke chapter 2. Hallelujah. We are finishing. In Luke chapter 2. Praise the Lord. You remember... Put this scripture there. Luke 4, 18. Leave it there. In Luke chapter 2, you remember Jesus Christ used to go and his parents used to go and celebrate yearly. Hallelujah. Used to go and celebrate yearly, yearly festival. On their way back, Jesus Christ disappeared. 
They looked for him, could not find him. They look, 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 could not find him. Finally, they ran, they went to find him where? In the synagogue. And when they asked Jesus, why didn't you just tell us where you were going to or what you are going to do? Jesus Christ asked them, why are you asking me this question? Don't you know that I have to go and do my father's business? Hallelujah. This is a good story. But when you look at the story itself, Jesus Christ did not behave well. Am I talking to somebody? He didn't behave well. Because a man born, a Messiah, praise the Lord, born by a virgin, will know that these people, if he leaves them quietly, they'll be looking for him. So just the right thing to do, mom, I just want to run to the, um, what do you call it, synagogue. And, and, and they'll say, okay, because they, in fact, Mary will accompany Jesus to the synagogue and sit by him because he's a precious son. She knows him already. Jesus left them without telling them. I asked the Holy Spirit, why is that? The Holy Spirit said two things. Mary and Joseph, Joseph was a surrogate father. Hallelujah. Spiritually, he was telling them the truth that I have to go about my father's business. He was not kidding. He wasn't kidding. That's the truth. Hallelujah. Physically, Joseph was not his father. His true father is God. And so what he went to do was what? His true father. Now here, this is the revelation here. For any man, Mary, remember Mary and Joseph, they were going yearly to what? To sacrifice, to celebrate foundation, to celebrate in their village. That was foundation. Jesus broke that protocol. I said Jesus broke that protocol. He broke that protocol. He broke that protocol. I say God is breaking that protocol on your behalf. He's breaking that protocol on your behalf. That yearly protocol in your foundation, in your village, yearly protocol in your family, that protocol is being broken by Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. And so they found him in the house of God. What does that tell you? It tells you that when you want to get, re get real deliverance from your foundational powers, protocols, hiding problems, what you need is Jesus. You need who? Jesus to break that protocol for you. How? It's so funny that in the eyes of Mary, I'm sure Mary was angry. Joseph was angry that he did not tell them anything. In their eyes, Jesus was wrong. But in God's eyes, Jesus was not wrong. You know how? You know why? Ah, you don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. I say God is on your side. God was on the side of Jesus Christ. Luke 2.52. So in the eyes of man, he left them. Praise the Lord. And went to do the work of God. Mary was angry. But look what God, was God angry in Luke chapter 2 verse 52? God was not angry. For him to be in his house, he grew in wisdom, stature, and favor. In the name of Jesus, before God and man. Not before man alone, no. Before God and man. So when he left that 
protocol to run into the house of God, it was in divine alignment. I decree and declare over someone right now that you will grow in wisdom, you will grow in stature, you will grow in favor as a man before God and man. Any man watching this receive the grace to grow in wisdom, the grace to grow in stature, the grace to grow in favor before God and man. And everyone here right now, receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. You are growing in wisdom. You are growing in stature. You are growing in favor before God and man. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Say, I receive it right now. Open your mouth and ask God to uh, mature you in the name of Jesus. My father, my God, you have my permission. I receive the grace to grow in wisdom, to grow in stature, to grow in favor. Before you and man, in the name of Jesus, let it be so, let it be so, let it be so, let it be so, let it be so. Abagada, lagada, lagada, in this Father's Day, oh Lord, anoint every man that is a father to grow in wisdom, to grow in stature, to grow in favor, in the name of Jesus. Magada, lagada, 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 ilegeza, lagada, in Jesus' name, amen. What does this scripture also reveal to us? Until Jesus Christ left his father and mother. I've been there before. When my father was still alive, I was still a baby. Let's be honest. When you are still hearing your father say, do this, do that, you are stuck in your baby sense. Am I talking to somebody? The day he, he, he died, it felt like a tree had been what? Uprooted from the ground. I had some kind of spiritual awakening. I started thinking as my age. But before then, Daddy, Daddy, Everything I say, I say, my father say, my father say, my father say, my father say. Jesus broke that protocol. Hallelujah. He left both of them. Went, it's okay to have parents. Don't disobey parents. We're not saying that. But the antidote to come out of your father's house is to be in the house of God. Is to have your heavenly father as your father, and every other fo father follow your heavenly father, your spiritual father, your ma biological father, your spiritual father, and Papa was telling us today that Satan, father of evil, hallelujah, and Satan, Satan will not be your father. I say Satan will not be your father in the name of Jesus. I want you to catch this revelation that when he left them, God, not man, Gave him wisdom. Made him grow in stature. Stature is status. His levels change. Stature is level. Level don't change. Your level is changing. I say your level is changing. I say your level is changing after now. Your level is changing after now. The level is changing after now. In the name of Jesus. And also favor. Before God and man. Beloved. By fire, by force, you have to admit this truth in the Bible. I pity people that criticize the power ministry. Say, what is this? What is this? These things are true. Why? Because your life as you are living right now is two. is spirit and is flesh. So how do you address your spiritual stuff? And not only that, your life right now is too, is evil and good. How do you address the evil ones? It's by the scriptures. 
So it's so very important that you find a scripture-believing church to go and pray certain problems away. I receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so some of the problems, hardcore problems, most of them is from where? Father's house. I came to submit to somebody in this house at the sound of my voice, somebody online and whoever who hear this recording, tape, YouTube, however, later, that pray into your father's house. And also make a conscious effort to stop anything that you are doing, that you know, that you've been doing since you are a child, that you... You have never left your father's house, even though you live in California. Your behavior is still the one that you were doing in your father's house. It means that you are still there. Hallelujah. Amen. Your behavior, whatever you, oh, me, when I was young, this is how I do it. Oh, this is, nothing has changed. My brother, my sister, begin to fight those things in your DNA, in your foundation, in your DNA, it's in your blood. Make a conscious effort. If it comes, the knee-jerk reaction, if it comes to you, you say, uh-uh, not today. I'm not doing it. By not doing it for a, some time, that spirit, what? Disappears. Receive the grace to deliver yourself out of every Father's House foundation this Father's Day in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare from the throne room perspective, that any power in your foundation that you have fought all this while by yourself that you are not able to fight, today, by the power of Jesus that broke that protocol, I decree that protocol in your life is broken. I said that protocol in your life is broken. That protocol in your life is broken. Whatever it is uh, that has brought you, let, kept you in the same place all these years, that protocol is broken. Amen. If you are a girl, you are a girl, gossip, 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 gossip as a girl. You wear people's dresses. You collect people's clothes and wear them. Collect people's shoes and wear them. Do all of that. It's okay. When you are young, you are young and stupid. As you have grown now, Bible says, when I was a child, I used to think like a, a, a child. Now that I'm old, I think like what? An adult. Stop it. Stop all those fathers. Think, write them down after now. I say, write those things down. If you want permanent deliverance and start stopping them one by one. One by one. Maybe you like to drink. You, are, you like drink, alcohol. You started it from your father's house. It's not your fault. That's fine. Make a conscious effort to quit. Hallelujah. Make a conscious effort to what? Quit. Maybe you like to masturbate. You started it from your father's house. You are married. You are still masturbating. That's a yoke. Right there, receive the anointing. We break it right now in the name of Jesus. I say, receive the grace to break that pattern right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you are a liar from your father's house. You lie here, you lie there. You lie there, you lie here. You have grown, you are still lying. You are not only lying in four corners of a wallow, you are lying online. You are lying online. It's, a spirit, it's father's house. You never left. You are still there. Receive the grace to come out of your father's house. I say receive the grace to come out of your father's house. In the name of Jesus. Receive that until you come out. It no matter. If they put you on a diamond bed, you will fall to, uh, down. On diamond bed, though, you come and find the person laying down. It will not be your portion. But... Receive the grace to come out of your father's house. You have served Satan for too long. Gideon 
didn't want to come out of his father's house. But eventually he did. And what? He answered his what? Calling. He became, he got his own freedom. He got his own might. Gideon is called what? A mighty man of what? Valor. Did he sound like a mighty man of valor? He did not sound like that. That's what Father's house does. It will not be your portion after now. I say it will not be your portion. Receive the grace. Happy, 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 happy Father's Day. After now, your life will not be the same. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's take two prayers. In the name of Jesus. Let's speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Ma koshe te te ke te 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 te. Ilege zele ke te lege de lege de lege de lege de. Ilege zele ke te lebe zele ke de lege de. Ma go do do go do 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 go do. Ilege zele ke de lege de lege de. Le ka so ko to to to. Ya kadala kadala batala bati lege te lebe te lege de. Hey, baban so lege zele ke de. Let's speak in tongues and take two or three prayers and go home. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Ya basu logo zile ke de lege de lege de la kada la kada de lege de. Ye kaso do 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 do. Lege de 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 lege de. Lege de lege de lege de lege de. Amen. We are going to pray different. Prayers, simple prayers, according to what God did to a, uh, Abraham, according to what he did to Gideon, and what Jesus did. That's why we're tapping into those anointings. Those are done deal. So when you tap into that, it's, it's done deal for you. Hallelujah. The same grace falls upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Genesis 12, 1, 2. God called Abraham from his father's house to go to a nation where he will show him. Hallelujah. Amen. Raise up your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. This afternoon. This afternoon. I have heard your word. I have heard your word. Jehovah Adonai. Jehovah Adonai. You have my permission. You have my permission. By fire. By fire. By force. By force. Uh, take me. I come out of my father's I house. Come out of my I father's come out of house. my father's house I in the name of, of Jesus. I come out. I come out. I come out. I come out of my father's house. Every foundational property is in my father's house. In the name of Jesus. I come out As you did it for Abraham. Oh Lord, let it be my portion in the name of Jesus. I refuse to live in my father's house. I refuse to stay in my father's house in the name of Jesus. I come out. I come out. I come out. I take my children out of my fa their father's house. In the name of Jesus, I even take them out of my father's house. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah, you have my permission. This is a serious matter. I am coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out, you are coming out of your father's house. Open your mouth and come out. After now, after this prayer, your life will not be the same. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. After you have come out now, tell God to change your name. And make you a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're cutting the prayers short because our time is fast spent. Raise up your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Thank you for taking me out of my father's house. Thank you for taking me out of my father's house. Make me a blessing. Make me a blessing. No, first say, change my name. 
Change my name. And make me a blessing. And make me a blessing. Open your mouth in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Any name I'm answering that is not of. I dip my name, Rama, in the blood of Jesus. I dip it in the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, if it's not of you, ah, Badanda Yagadala Badanta. Deep your names in the blood of Jesus. Deep your last name in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth. This is a big prayer. Believe it or not. You are getting your deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. I have done this already. Years back, Holy Spirit, I dip all my names in the blood of Jesus, my father's names in the blood of Jesus. Any altar that those names are related to, today I break away from those altars by the blood of Jesus. I break my children away, I break my generation away from every foundational altar, paternal altars in the name of Jesus. I break Larry and Lizelle away from their paternal altars in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Judges chapter 6. Amen. We are going to cut it short. Raise up your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Deliver me. Deliver me. From every foundational power. From every foundational power. That manipulates me. That manipulates away me. Away from my deliverance. Away from my deliverance. Away from my helpers. Away from my helpers. Away from my breakthrough. Away from my deliver breakthrough. Deliver me. Ask God to deliver, deliver you. Me, deliver, deliver you. Me, deliver me. Deliver. My father, my God, you have my permission in the name of Jesus. Today, by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, I know you want to leave, but pray this prayer. This prayer has manipulated a lot of people. How many times have you wanted to do something right? The first idea comes, and the second idea comes. You end up doing the second idea only to know that you should have done the first one. Hallelujah. Amen. That's manipula foundational manipulation. How many times? So many times. Hallelujah. Amen. It will not be your portion after now. Amen. So open your mouth and pray this prayer. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I break away from every foundational power that comes to manipulate my life. That manipulate good things away. I break away from foundational powers. After now, my father, my God, you will speak and I will listen. You will speak and I will obey. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our last prayer. Ask God to bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. As say Jesus. Jesus, son of David, son of David, I have heard your word. I have heard your in word in the name of Jesus. In the name of after Jesus, after now, after now, or in this Father's Day, or in this Father's Day, and beyond, day, and beyond, let all Father's House protocols, let all Father's House protocols 
that does not glorify your name. That does not glorify your name. Let them be broken for my sake. Let them be broken, broken, for, broken for, my for my sake. Let them be broken, Let them be broken for, my for my sake. Let them, Let them be broken, broken for, for my sake. sake. In the Le name of Jesus, Le ka da 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 da. Open your mouth and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, every father's our foundation that does not glorify God. In the name of Jesus, let them be broken today by the blood of Jesus. For my sake, for my sake, for my sake, for my sake, for my sake. You have my permission. Break every father's our foundation. For my sake, in the name of Jesus. Things are, things are moving, things are moving, things are moving in the name of Jesus. Foundational protocols are being broken for your sake. They are being broken for your sake. In the name of Jesus, Marco so so ka ta 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 ka in Jesus name. Amen. Say blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. And I, I invite you right now. I invite you right now. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Purge me. Purge me. Of all foundational powers. Any of DNA all in foundational me. Any DNA, DNA that, in that me. does not glorify of your name. Oh, DNA blood of Jesus, DNA purge me. Purge me. Anytime oh, I eat the Jesus. communion, let the, your blood purge me. Every purge me. The in the name of Jesus. Anything in me that does not glorify your name as I eat the communion, eat your uh, body and drink your blood. Let me be purged of every foundational DNA in my life and this in my body, in my system, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank God for an answer prayer. Jehovah, we thank you, Lord. Father, we thank, thank you. you for answering our prayers. For an answered prayer. Thank you for answered prayers, Lord. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For bringing thank us this you, far. Thank you, thank for, you, you for breaking doing, protocols, foundational protocols for our sake. Thank you, Lord, for exposing powers in our Father's houses. Thank you, my Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give a big clap offering unto Jesus. Do you believe that foundational protocols have been broken for your sake? Do you believe it? Do you also believe that right now you have received a word that will not fail? the activities of foundational powers. You have received the word. I pray that the word you receive today will stay with you so that you will know the activities of powers in your foundation, that you will overcome them as they show up in the mighty name of Jesus. Happy Father's Day!